Hey there, welcome over here today. I am going to be showing you five new breakfast crock pot recipes. And if you don't know yet, you could totally make breakfast in the crock pot. It's one of my favorite ways to actually make breakfast and use my crock pot in fact just because you can make breakfast for your family for parties or for larger gatherings so so easy so I hope you enjoy this video and the kitchen does look different because we are visiting my parents in New Mexico for a week but let's go get to cooking we're kicking today off by making my all-time favorite blueberry cream cheese French toast breakfast casserole. So to begin in this large bowl, I have 10 eggs. To those eggs, I added two thirds cup of brown sugar and then one cup of milk, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and then a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And that's it. You are just going to whisk these ingredients together. After I placed my loaf of French bread on my cutting board, I cut it into smaller cubes just like this, and then I set the bread to the side, I pulled out my slow cooker, and I made sure to spray my slow cooker with plenty of nonstick spray, and then I put half of the cubed French bread on the bottom of my slow cooker. Next, I have eight ounces of cream cheese right here. I did cube this cream cheese into smaller pieces. I placed half of the amount of cream cheese right on top of that bread and then I have two cups of blueberries right here I'm putting one cup of blueberries over the cubed cream cheese and then I'm pouring half of the egg mixture that we made up right on top there and then I just did the same thing over again with the second layer After I was through adding all of the ingredients in, I placed the lid on top and I cooked this on low for about five to six hours or until my French toast casserole has set. And then once it was through cooking, the house was smelling unbelievably good. I just spread the cream cheese out on the very top with a knife and then it was ready to serve. Here's my plate of food. I drizzled the top of everything with plenty of maple syrup and sprinkled it with powdered sugar. This is seriously 10 out of 10. I can make it every single day and my family will not get tired of it. It's that good. If you're not the biggest cream cheese fan in the world, you could always leave the cream cheese out, but this is amazing. Now we're making this extremely hearty bacon, egg, and cheese breakfast casserole. So to begin, I have one pound of bacon right here. You could use any type of bacon you like or have on hand, but I just chose to use this brand. Anyways, I cut the bacon up into smaller pieces like this. Now over to the pan on my stove, I'm going to add my bacon in and I'm going to crisp it up and cook it through. Now that our bacon has crisped up nicely with a slotted spoon, I'm removing it to a separate bowl lined with paper towels to absorb any of the excess grease. Now over to this large bowl, I'm cracking six eggs in. The next ingredient is the little secret ingredient. It is one cup of Bisquick, so go ahead and add that in. Next, add in two cups of milk, one cup of Colby Jack cheese, and then for the seasonings, a half a teaspoon of ground mustard, oregano, and black pepper, and then you are going to whisk this all together. The last thing you will do is stir in the bacon that we cooked up earlier, and then you are going to grease your slow cooker with plenty of nonstick spray just because you do not want this egg to stick to your slow cooker, and then just pour that right in there. I did save a little bit of the bacon that we cooked from earlier just to sprinkle on the very top, so I'm sprinkling that on the top now along with about a third a cup of shredded Colby Jack cheese. This cooked on low for about five to six hours, and here's the finished product. I sprinkled mine with parsley flakes, salt, and pepper. This egg casserole is so hearty and good. Like I said previously, you definitely want to give this one a shot. It's so easy to make. 
These breakfast potatoes are my only breakfast potatoes that I like making, so now I'm going to show you how to make them. I have about three pounds of little red potatoes right here, or you could use the little golden potatoes, whatever you prefer. I cut them into smaller cubes like this, almost like bite-sized pieces, I'd say. And then I brought them over to my greased crock pot and I added them right in there. I do wanna mention these breakfast potatoes are also great if you wanna meal prep them for the week, or you could even make them for dinner. It's such a simple recipe. To go in with the potatoes, I'm adding one white onion that I diced up into smaller pieces. You could also add in one or two bell peppers if you'd like. I didn't add the bell peppers in just because I didn't have any on hand. Either way works great though. And then a tablespoon of minced garlic, two tablespoons of butter that you cubed, two tablespoons of olive oil, and then you could really add in any seasonings you like or have on hand. But my favorite seasonings for these potatoes are just two teaspoons of seasoning salt and two teaspoons of paprika with a dash of salt and pepper. I give this a really good stir to combine all of the ingredients, and then I put the lid on top, and I like to cook this on low for about four to five hours. Here are the potatoes after the cooking time. They should be nice and fork tender just like this. I served mine on a plate with fresh parsley, salt, and pepper. But like I said previously, you could serve these potatoes however you choose to do so. You can meal prep them for the week. You could throw them in breakfast burritos, serve them with your dinner. You will absolutely love these, I promise. Now we're making my husband's favorite, this tater tot sausage and egg casserole. To the pan on my stove, I added one pound of sausage. I broke the sausage up and cooked it through. Once it was cooked through, I removed any of the excess grease. A few of you might have seen me do this trick in the past, but this is my all-time favorite way of removing grease from a pan, just wiggling a paper towel around in there until all of the grease is absorbed. It works really magically. After I cracked my 12 eggs into this large bowl, I sprinkled in my four tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and then I poured my one cup of milk in and then added a dash of salt and pepper. I whisked this egg mixture to combine. Now it's time to assemble this in our slow cooker. So to the slow cooker, I'm adding half of my 32 ounce bag of tater tots. Next, add half of the sausage that we cooked up on the stove. And then I diced up one onion, so I'm adding half of the onion in on this layer right now. And then I have one cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm adding half of that along with half of my two cups of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. And then I did the same exact thing for the second layer but on the very top I poured the egg mixture that we made up all over everything. After I was finished pouring the egg mixture all over the top, I placed the lid on and I cooked this on low for about seven to eight hours or until the egg has set. This tater tot casserole is so, so good. I love how you can make it for a larger amount of people and it is not very much work at all to throw together. My entire family really enjoys this one. It has great flavor. You seriously cannot go wrong with this copycat Cracker Barrel hash brown casserole. So now that's what we're making. To this little bowl, I have a half a cup of melted butter. I added two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and I whisked it together until the flour was smooth. I set that to the side. Now into this large mixing bowl, I'm adding a 10 ounce can of cream of chicken soup. Next, add one diced up onion, two cups of shredded sharp cheddar cheese, 14 ounces of sour cream, and then this part's optional, but I do love adding 16 ounces of diced ham. I think it just adds really great flavor and extra protein. I mixed this all together.
Now that our mixture looks something like this, it's time to add in our 26 ounce bag of frozen shredded hash browns. And then I added a half a teaspoon of black pepper as well. You are going to stir this all together to incorporate the hash browns. Now that our hash browns are nicely incorporated in, you are going to pour this right into your crock pot that you have greased, and then go ahead and try to spread this out as even as possible. And then you are going to drizzle the butter and the flour mixture that we made up earlier over the top of everything. And then I sprinkled about a half a cup of Colby Jack cheese over the top. I cooked this on low for about five to six hours. Here's what it looks like out of the slow cooker, ready to enjoy. Seriously, this Cracker Barrel hash brown casserole is spot on. You could bring it to a party and everybody would devour it, or you could just make it for breakfast by itself. It is that fabulous. I have so many more videos like this on my channel, so make sure you subscribe down below the video so you don't miss any more in the future. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.